first story is out of Sri Lanka. One dead, a Sri Lanka town gripped by another bout of anti-Muslim violence. At least one person was killed Monday amid renewed anti-Muslim violence in Sri Lankan town targeted during last month's Easter Sunday terrorist attack. Police said 45-year-old Forzul Amir was slashed with a sword as mobs attacked at least five mosques, causing damage and allegedly burning a Quran in the town of Nangambo, north of the capital of Colombo. Amir later died in the hospital. A nationwide curfew was in... Um, it's the wrong word. A nationwide curfew was put into effect following the violence, which comes after shops and business owners by Muslims were attacked last week in Ngambo, um, which has the largest Christian community in it. So, yeah, we, we all heard about what happened on Easter Sunday. A lot of Christians were attacked. Over 250 people were killed. Um, people in Sri Lanka, a lot of the Christian leaders in in a lot of the, uh, the towns have been asking people please do not commit violence towards Muslims because of the attacks that took place on Easter. Um, and then, you know, this unfortunately happened. So this is revenge attack. Pretty much, yes. Yeah, this is major tribalism. Like you hold some people that didn't commit the crime, you're holding them responsible for other people's crimes just because they belong to the same tribe. Like, it's one of the most... I mean, this is very human, I guess. It's very this has been how people think about uh retaliation and collective punishment just for since forever i guess we one thing that is said is that actually we have to um i i used to think we don't have to clarify this but given some of the comments we see on our page and our and our twitter accounts and even in our youtube comments i guess we have to clarify uh, we don't endorse this. This is fucking barbaric. Uh, killing people is wrong. You think that you don't? That goes without saying. But these days, apparently, that does not go without saying. You have to clarify that that uh, killing people is wrong. I thought that we could, we were above that kind of clarifications. But no, I guess that needs to be said. Um, we are against Islam. Uh, killing Muslim is wrong. Again, it saddens me that that is something that we even have to say because um, there are people in our community that endorse this unfortunately uh, and think this is cool that of course well they're muslim um you know what they say do you see comments like I, i'm hoping like we have matured a little bit more like we're going to scroll down to see what kind of comments people left but do you see comments like what comes you know what goes around comes around or karma or stuff like that like of course well they did this they deserve it Believing, you know, you, we can see that, I mean, it, it's important to highlight those comments because we want to make sure that we don't become tribal thinking that, you know, atheists are superior or they're immune from that kind of barbaric thinking. So when we see atheists endorse this kind of behavior on Muslims, we do want to highlight it so that we could condemn it. We do not ban these people from our community so that we can highlight it, okay? Because banning these people does not solve the problem and it does not serve it, it does not serve anyone's interest we want to show the problem so we can attack this kind of problems right but let me see uh, ali have you looked at the comment section in this post because i'm going to scroll down i want to see do you think there's going to be anybody endorsing the attack on muslims killing i haven't looked okay. but i can almost guarantee that there will there'll at least be a handful right but one thing, that I, one thing that i saw last time there was an attack on violence on muslims one thing that gave me a little bit extra hope is that it wasn't the top comment anymore Right, the top comments were complaining about the other uh, comments. Well, let me see. But to be fair, when it does become the top comment, it's not because it was the most liked comment. It becomes the top comment because it had the most like angry reactions or stuff like that. But let me see what the top comment is. Um, the top comment is saying, "Oh, this is a long one." Jesus. Actually, you know the. Okay, the top comment is I, from somebody that I can't pronounce their name is saying when 250 Christians were massacred, we didn't become violent. When so many swords, guns, fake um, army uniforms, religious robes belonging to other faiths were found 
in mosque we didn't become violent and if you think these are carried out by ordinary uh, Sri Lankan you are insulting ordinarily Sri Lankans who have been tolerant and patient in the face of Islamic extremists these are politically motivated you don't know that you have no idea you just you probably uh, are you just you're just trying to protect your own tribe which is not neither you know the Sri Lankan. You're probably just a nationalist to try worried about the uh, how this looks on your country. Come on, like are you one of the part of the investigation? Like we, oh, Jesus, everybody is just protecting their tribe. Everybody is just protecting their tribe. It doesn't logic doesn't matter. It's just like exactly. how how does things make us look? We'll fight it if it makes us look bad, uh, and we we support it. If it makes us look good. Logic be damned. Evidence be damned. Nothing matters. Let me see what the second comment is. Second comment is. World would be better place without religion. Oh no shit. Okay. Uh, George is saying. Oh well you reap what you. See. This is what I. Exactly. This is exactly what I thought we are going to see. Fuck you George. Fuck you. Fuck you if you believe in collective punishment. Fuck you if you believe that. Violence against innocent people is justified because they belong to a tribe of some other people that committed violence. And I say that as somebody that hates Islam, that is against Islam, that wants Islam to die out as a religion. But if you want to, if you think that justifies hatred to Muslims, to individuals, to entire group of pe people, then go fuck yourself. Let me see that. Let, let's see if we could somebody else say something that is a little bit more reasonable let's read religion is a danger is, is dangerous to humanity okay whatever to out obviously like i want a better more interesting take court is saying they should just pray for allah to protect them fuck you as well no just because they believe in fairy tales does not mean that we should abandon them because they believe in nonsense obviously they believe in nonsense but their belief in nonsense and they think that allah has protect them doesn't mean that their fellow human beings shouldn't try to protect them your belief in nonsense does not make you deserving of violence and for us to abandon you when you need help who else is saying i believe oh look at this ali exactly what i thought i believe in karma this is so this yeah. person thinks this is karma. This is even worse than the karma that Hindus... Like, karma is bullshit anyways. The karma that Hindus and Buddhists believe in. But this is even a worse kind of karma that this person believes in. Because this right. karma... At least their karma is... You, you get punished for the stuff that you did as an individual. This person believes in a more, like, barbaric version of karma that you get punished for stuff that other people did, apparently. What, let me see what else is here. Religion, what a beautiful world. Ah, oh, come on, guys. I'm pretty sure you could get more nuanced positions, you know, reactions than religion bad. Yes, religion is bad. We know that, okay? Like, give me something. Somebody should... Is there anybody... Oh, this is actually worse than before because there's nobody condemning the karma. Let me see. Did, did these karma post get any reactions this is so disappointing sometimes people will make other rather than making that one popular they'll make another comment complaining about it that's what i like about our community that's what they've been doing uh lately which has been really awesome because all these bad ones tend to float to the bottom um but these are top comments this today is actually very bad because these top comments are became top comments not because of it got only one angry reaction right it got 11 likes one heart one laugh reaction, one angry. Like they got top comments because they are actually popular. Holy fuck, man. This is actually is really scary. Um, let me see. Tim is saying, I'm finding it real hard to locate my sympathy button. Seriously? Jesus, you don't find you don't feel sympathy towards your fellow human beings. And he actually has it. Wait, let me see. Actually, he has an actually an atheist symbol and his logo. Hmm. Oh, ah, Tim. You might be an atheist, but you're not a humanist, so go fuck Not yourself. at all. Not at all. Ah, oh, God. This is this is very bad. Let me see what... Uh, I'm hoping our YouTube live chat is a little bit... I have faith in our... Not faith. I have some hope in our YouTube live chat. Let me see. Who? Anybody... Any interesting comments in our YouTube live chat? Let me see our Facebook live chat. Ah, oh, God. This is bad. Uh, Jonathan is saying the love and compassion from the atheist community needs to be stronger towards those 
who are being brutally treated. Sometimes I'm just saddened by what I see coming from atheists. Well, I mean, Jonathan, this, the thing is that you shouldn't have, like, the reason why we protect, you know, atheists from persecution is not because we think they're superior. Like, we shouldn't expect them to be better people. We just, the reason why we, why we are focusing on abuse against atheists is because there is not much protection for atheists out there. Not because we think they're more deserving or better people. Like, we should expect to see assholes in atheist community just like we see it everywhere else. Like, it just, I mean, I get angry, but you shouldn't expect, um, you shouldn't expect it to be more, you know, people are people, whether they're atheists or religious, right? Religion does add extra harm to society but that doesn't mean with that religion people all of a sudden become humanist and moral right atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists and not many seem to be listening let's make it difficult for them to ignore us we have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.